Hello and good morning. Welcome to Josh's Jumpstart where we give you tips and techniques to help you accelerate your achievement. Today we wanted to talk about why winners win. Think about that. I find it amazing how you line up so many different people in the same organization, in the same business, using the same products and services, using the same pricing, and yet some people's efforts and results yield such higher expectations or higher, uh, uh, higher income, their, their results are dramatically different than other people that are substantially lower. Why is that? Is there a reason? Did some people just get lucky? Did they get better area, better territory? But even if they're in the same territory, why is it that some people have such a higher level of results than others do? I have the fortune of owning a door-to-door -door marketing company and I get to work with door-to-door -door salespeople and it's awesome. I love it. I get to learn from new sales reps every single year. And it's been fascinating for me to observe this very thing. In the same city, in the same area, with the same pricing structures, some sales reps hit insane numbers and they, they end up being the top in the office, the top in the company, and their amount of money that they can earn is substantially different than other people who are in the same area, in the same office with the same pricing. So here's the question, why? Why do winners win? And that's what we want to talk about today. There's three things that I have found that top performers that help identify the winning people from the mediocre. And here it goes. Number one reason that why winners win is they have a desire. They have a clear reason why they are working for the company, why they get up in the morning, why they go out and they knock. They have a reason why and they have a strong desire. You show me a sales rep in any company, in any industry, in any area who has a strong why, get out of his or her way because they'll make things happen. Because when they have a strong why, they have that desire, that internal motivation to achieve their goals and they're going to find a way to make it happen. You've heard it before, you either have an excuse for why you did achieve your goals or you have an excuse for why you didn't. And super successful salespeople, high performers, they always have a strong why and they have a very strong desire. That's number one. Number two reason that separates the, the winning performers from the mediocre is they are prepared. One of my favorite sayings I always tell my sales rep is those that prepare, if you're prepared to win, then you will always win. Those that sweat the most in practice bleed the least in war. I'm going to repeat that for you one more time. Those that sweat the most in practice bleed the least in war. What is it that you do? What company do you work with? And are you taking time to practice? Do you have reading material, motivational books? Is there sales training that your company is giving you? Are you studying and preparing? Are you literally preparing so much that you're sweating because you're prepared so much to be successful? To our top sales reps too, we have online training just like you're watching right now and the top performers would always spend much more hours than usual watching these sales videos, watching these trainings. So I want to congratulate you right now because you are already doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're watching video, you're preparing right now to be successful. That's number two. Number three thing, insane work ethic. Top performers are always spending the most amount of time on the doors than anyone else in the office. For our door-to-door -door company, we have daily meetings. After our meetings are done, the sales reps get in their car and they drive to their area. And the thing that I have noticed is that the winners in each office, the top performers, they're always the first ones to go out to their area. And then what we always do is we always have a lunch right around 3 or 4 o'clock because we knock from about 11 o'clock to 9 every night. And the top performers, they're the first ones to leave to go to their area. When we meet up for lunch, they're always the last ones to actually come to the lunch, if they even come at all. They're always the first ones to leave the lunch 
And then at night, when we all come back to the apartment, the top performers, the winners of the office, they're always the last ones in. Why is that? Because they are spending more time than usual. They have insane work ethic to be able to hit their goals. Thanks for stopping by. I hope this adds value to your life. And I promise you, if you want to be one of the top performers, a high achiever, a winner in your industry, in your company, in your office, do these three things. Number one, have a clear reason why you're out there and a desire of what it is you're doing. Number two, prepare for success. And then number three, insane work ethic. You do these three things and you will be a top performer and you'll be one of the winners in your office. Thanks for stopping by. I'm excited to work with you guys and help you accelerate your achievement. Have a great day.